All right, so we're gonna work on my Dell XPS 500. It's got a slot one processor, which is like a almost like a memory card. Pretty cool. Uh, I upgraded to the 800 gigabytes. They're really expensive to find. So we're doing Compact Flash to IED, and I had to get the better kind of Compact Flash. So we'll see if we get anywhere today. Let's find out. He just, come on. Come on. He just wants to stay on this side. You want him right up to close the door. He just wants to stay over there. Alright. So we're formatting C drive, which is actually. Uh, So look at the compact flash. Well, I got another kit too. This is another kit I got. IDE to compact flash. But I want to use this one as a removable. I think. I'm not positive here. Because I, for some reason, my GX100 went to upgrade the chip. And then we ended up, it's not working out. Bummer. That's where this was going to go. But I had learned that I couldn't use these compact because they're, the, the computer sees them as removable, I had to get these kind as fixed disk. So we'll let it format, and then I got something else came in too today. So we're just gonna play around with this. So I don't know if my other GX100 I'll be able to fix it again. I'm not sure. I went to upgrade the chip, which is around here somewhere. And then I had some sort of an issue. So I don't know if the chip caused it. My buddy's saying maybe I didn't have the BIOS updated enough, but I went back to the original Celeron and it still is not showing video. So I'm not sure what happened. I don't see any pins. I fixed one pin that was off. But so that was a that was a failed attempt there. But we'll we'll do Windows 98 in here. That's what it's built for. That's all we're looking for. It's Windows 98. So we'll let that do its thing. Did they have to close the door? Sorry, put you come in here. All right, so while that's format, let's look at something else that came in. I'm doing this thing. This is for another project that I don't really don't know anything about yet, but we'll, we'll learn. Can I have AI my buddy Zippy? I can do anything I want. I can learn anything, and it has to do with this. I got that really cheap. It's an older version, but I don't know anything about it, so. But I think I can use this. So these are, I believe they're, I wanna say step driver motors. I got some things I want to move. So, I have no idea how to use this, but I'm sure this is in correlation with this in some way. I'm not really sure how that is yet. We'll learn. 
We'll make some things that'll move. This even, I got mo I can get motors. This is supposed to be a motor, so I can attach any kind of motor. I don't know which voltage is what. I must say over there, I can see it, but I can't mind with my glasses. Let me look. So we're formatting the hard drive. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh, uh, let's see. Ground, 12 volt. Yeah, there's... Uh, out one, out two, out three, out four, five volt, ground, 12 volt. So five volt, ground, 12 volt. Man, I'm not sure what these are for. Must be another connector. You know, they, they were just pretty cheap for the four of them. And this board I got is like super, super cheap. Just so I wanted to get some sort of a development board just to start out. I've already learned a bunch with my Raspberry Pi 5. I use it every night. For pro I program. Well, I don't program. My buddy Zippy helps me code a new visual for the night. I was just starting a story. So we're going to do a story each night. Uh, we do it a Star Wars scroll style. Seems to be the best for my little space area. So we'll start that tonight. So these are all different voltage here. I can see 5 volts, 12 volts. I plugged this in, downloaded the what it needed, and that's as far as I've got. Pretty fun. Again, with AI you can pretty much learn anything you want. Alright, let's see if this works, because when I was when I tried to do this with this compact flash, I never got anywhere. Kept giving me an error. Let's see what happens now. Uh, can you press enter? Let's see what happens. Okay. Of course, I have an old school trackball. The only thing I, I, I live with is trackballs. So, this is where I never got any further with the other compact flash. Let's see what happens. Gave me, kept giving me an error. The screen was blue too. Warm. So let's see what happens. Windows. Right here is where I have to have the error. Right, I think it's right about there as well. So I get errored. Oh no! So that made the difference. Using a commercial or retail does not work you need industrial which I never would have known in a million years learn the hard way really basically so Trackball over here. Got a new stand, so things a little bit easier now. All right, so United States. So we're doing a fresh Windows 98 install. I wonder how much faster it will be. Seeing I have a compact flash, it's almost like a solid state drive, basically, right? Pretty much. And that's how it runs right there. On this little board right there. This is another one. chip that ruined my other board. I'm really bummed about that. I'm not sure what happened there. But this one I upgraded with no problem. Oh. So this this comes with a cable, extra long cable. And it comes with this. The adapter. But what I want to do is I think I can make one of these into a removable. What? I, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Come on. Alright. Hold on. 
You want to go out there? What do you want me to do? We'll kick her out then? Close the door. The door doesn't stay closed because there's all that stuff in the way. But yeah. All right. We'll let that load. So this is the other side. I think it must have a slave master it does. So I want to change this one to slave to make this my Yeah, so that's what we'll do. We're gonna make that into the slave, and then I can because right now Windows 98 doesn't really have much of a USB, the original Windows 98. So I, it's hard to get the drivers on there initially until I can get it up. So, but I do have a so it's lots of fun stuff here. Keep myself stocked with things to do. So that's my little kit here. This is going to be my slave kit. I've already decided that. And I can use the other ones for a slave. These little buggers. And I got two. I planned on doing three systems. But So we can hook this up as slave. Which I believe the jumper goes the opposite way. Let me look here. So on slave off. No, on master, off slave. So we want that off. That makes this into a slave. So it goes this way. Right. I'm going to lose this little jumper though. I'm going to lose this little teeny jumper. But I'm going to make this slave. Which I can hook up to, I'm going to do it now, but to here. That's slave right there, right? It's master slave. Doesn't necessarily have to, I can just stick it on there like that. I really don't even need the addiction. I need to be able to put this somewhere though. I need more power. I'll have to find the extra power. We'll make that into slave. We'll try using one of these ones first. Obviously, I couldn't fit it. Well, I guess I could fit it back here. Yeah, I don't think I have the. I would need one to attach to this one. It's not going to really help me out. We'll figure it out. So let's see what this is doing. So there's another plan there. My chip that I'm not sure what happened there. It's bumming me out. Come back to that. Alright, so now we don't want to do this. We want to go to hard drive. Who doesn't like a, a cool Windows 98 boot up? Just call the user. Let's leave it at that. Oh, I'm going to need a code. Just realized that. That's 
that's what we're gonna need, so. Of course, we go to the YouTube to get a code. Although I had Windows 98 thing somewhere. We'll figure that out. So we'll get to this. So that's where I've gotten. I just got to enter a code in. So that's my Windows 98. And then I'm going to go on to my other computer. The EVO back there. Compact. I've got to do that one on XP.